So here we are on a demo in our environment for long range planning. And the thesis to this model is that you set up a few strategic initiatives and some assumptions around what those initiatives might be. You set some goals for those initiatives and then those initiatives and goals cascade through income statement, balance sheet and cash flow. And then there's some light analytics at the end of the process. So I'm gonna walk through a series of steps. So we have this broken out by country. So within these countries, different strategic initiatives are set. Similarly, you could set these initiatives at the total company level and the operation at the lower levels to the hierarchy could be, how do we meet those goals that were distributed from the higher level? The assumption for this model is that those goals are created at the country level. So here we've got just a summary of current performance and incremental impact of the regional plan. So when we bring in current performance, total revenue, cost of sales, and gross margin. So what we've done is we've added a couple key strategic initiatives for the US. These are product agnostic, only initiatives that are applied to the region level. So first one we have in this strategy category is we have three different strategic initiatives. One is supply chain synergies, one is sales enablement, and one, one is the implementation of the ZBB solution. So we've named these initiatives, we've identified a region, start and end date, and then chosen whether or not we wanna activate these initiatives. What's great about an Anaplan model is that you can choose whether or not, if, it's a, if one of these initiatives requires more investment and all of them aren't possible, you can choose to activate whichever initiatives you want here. So then within supply chain synergies, we've added some detail to these. So we think that there is a revenue impact, a COGS impact, and an OPEX impact to supply chain. Maybe for ZBB, we think that this is only an OPEX impact. We, we don't really see much revenue impact from implementation of ZBB, perhaps purely OPEX. Also in this model is the ability to create new strategic initiatives. So within here. So for example, for the supply chain synergies, as we've added the new item here, we can just provide a you know, brief summary of what the initiative is, objectives for it, tracking on it, and of course, can develop this much more in depth of an actual workflow around achieving the different supply chain synergies. That, that's much more of individual initiative project planning, which would also be possible in Anaplan. So once some of these assumptions are created and the actual P&L impact of the specific initiatives and then the goals for the initiatives, then these start to flow through once activated throughout the rest of the, well, let's start on income statement and revenue planning. So since we identified that there would be a revenue impact to supply chain improvements, then those start to show up here. And now we can start to do more in-depth planning around what this supply chain synergies actually means. So by each individual products, we can start to apply assumptions on how these are going to impact out years. So in this example, we have a six year out year plan and base upside and downside implications to each of these strategic initiatives. So if we choose here base, we wanna apply this base solution as our revenue impact, then this starts to flow through the product revenue forecast. And here we just have a quarterly breakdown quarterly waterfall of how this initiative could actually look. Similarly, since we also identified that this has an impact on margin, same kind of dashboard setup for how this, for how the supply chain synergies would have an impact on product margin planning. Similarly on OPEX, same thing here. Also here, we can start to, if we go into an individual business unit. So here we're on OPEX planning. We can start to apply some forecast assumptions to what is the impact to supply chain synergies in our project there? What does that actually mean to salary, benefits, travel, marketing, overhead? And maybe this isn't just a straight line all the way across, right? Maybe this requires you know, additional involvement here. Maybe this increases to five years. And we can really start to plan out what these individual initiatives and all the plans around them 
actually mean to the income statement. So once we have that and we've selected the initiatives that we want to achieve during the year, the goals that we want applied to those initiatives can start to see how those impact the business. Now we're starting to develop the beginning based on our current performance. We're starting to develop first an AOP for how this year is based on the actual strategic goals of the business. And then also an out year forecast that's also combining those strategic initiatives. So as we move into the rest of the financial statements, these are all linked together. So we've already, we've already gone through the workflow of setting up the strategic initiatives. And now those really flow through the rest of the model. So what this, what this is intended to show is really just a lightweight example that, of something that's really quite powerful in starting with initiatives, creating the goals for those initiatives, maybe some assumptions around the actual impact to those initiatives to the business, and then how those impact the financial statements in creating not only this year's AOP, but an out-year forecast. In this model, we have six years of an out-year forecast. And we can toggle those initiatives and impacts and change those assumptions as we go. Of course, also involving actuals as we move through this. So not just the forecast, but also bringing in our actual data. So that brings us to the end of this demo. Uh, we hope that you know, found some value in here. And uh, please get in touch if, if this is a topic that you'd like to explore some more with us.